Hey guys, uh, Betty Max Man. It's been, well, probably a couple years since I've done an uh, unboxing video. Um, and it looks like it's arrived okay. So, here's what we have inside the box. We have, uh, it's supposed to be a Sony Betamax. Of course, it's a Betamax. Um, it's a SLHF 400, which is a uh, cheaper uh, model. It's a uh, kind of low-end model, but it does have super beta, and it does have hi-fi stereo. So let's open her up, shall we? Go ahead and we'll set the camera down and you guys can see how I have a free hand. Except this packed it well. Um, a bunch of these cardboard things in the way. Looks like you did a pretty decent job packing it. With Betamax VCRs, you gotta have a lot of packing because they can get damaged in shipping so easily. because I've never had um, I never had a 400 never had a 400 before looks like the door is broken not a big deal we can we can fix that piece of the door. Okay, um, oh no, there's nothing wrong with the door. He just have something blocking it. But here she is. Here she is. This is a Sony SLHF 400. I almost said Sanyo. Why did I almost say Sanyo? Well, because the last couple machines I got are Sanyos. Let me show you the other Sanyo that I got in the other day. Now, the reason why I didn't make a video of it is because when I got it, I plugged it in. It worked. I found that it was fully serviced. And then this happened. The transformer blew. The transformer started smoking and then it killed the power. Here's a uh, Sanyo Super Beta Hi-Fi. I'm waiting for the other one to arrive so I can take the power supply out of it to put in this one because this one has been serviced, well serviced. It's got new belts installed and it looks like somebody's installed some capacitors in the video board 
they did a pretty good job except for uh, one thing but we'll talk about that on another video here she is now the seller does not know if it works or not so we're gonna find out if it works and uh, it looks very similar to the SLH of 600 this was the predecessor to the 600 now yes it's a low-end model low-end unit that on tuner put the MPX filter off it's, it's got a, a single switch for the volume meters so we'll put it I usually put it on number six open the door Super Beta is on. Zoom Stereo. We'll switch it to Hi-Fi. There we go. And we'll, we'll plug it in and we'll see what happens. But I think before I plug it in, before I test it out, we're going to take the top off. And we'll do an assessment and then we'll power it up. So stay tuned for that. Okay, she's got the top off. Now looking at it, seems pretty clean for uh, its age. Um, you know, we don't know if it worked. The seller said that he. Uh, didn't uh, have a tape to test it with so I'm gonna do an assessment here belts tight maybe a little too tight we might need to do an adjustment on that belt because it's too tight it'll bog down the motor so let's power this up and see if we have any life so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. First we'll see if it powers up. And we'll get a tape and we'll test it. Okay. Not long enough. Okay. Didn't give a very long cord on this, did they? I hear a motor running. Okay. This is the 711B chassis. It's pretty basic. I just happen to have some tapes. I'm gonna make sure it's a movie that I don't care if it gets eaten. Well, let's try. Well, you know what though? Yeah, it looks like it's might be an okay tape to test. Let's see what happens oh nothing he's got my tape stuck in it too and he got no power so we have to we're gonna have to repair this one guys We're going to have to repair it. Yep, 
looks like we gotta repair it.